Hey guys, so YouTube is ready with a quick video. Today we're going to do another video from outside of my boy Brandon Art of Fragrance's apartment. So today we're going to do um, a couple from the house I've never tried before. Uh, I actually used to watch uh, this guy's videos back in the day before he became a perfumer. Um, I can't remember what's his name, John something or other? John Pegg. John Pegg, yeah, which his name was Kerosene. Look, I think he's since deleted his uh, channel. If not, he just took out a bunch of his videos. Uh, I used to be a fan. I, I was a subscriber. Uh, he's very monotone and, and kind of quirky in his videos, but uh, he was one of the first uh, guys to do reviews, and he was, like, one of the pioneers. So um, when he released this stuff, I was, was kind of proud of him. You know, he actually went a step above everyone else and just, you know, stopped doing reviews and actually um, made his own fragrances, which I thought was really cool. I can respect a guy who does that. And so... We're gonna do a couple of fragrant fragrances. Um, first impressions from the house of kerosene. We're gonna do unknown pleasures and blackmail. These are courtesy of uh, Brandon here. He's a, uh, like I said, he gets a lot of, you know, he likes to buy his fragrances and he'll get me, let me uh, try them out for him. So he's already tried them, so he's not really gonna have too much. Yeah. Just gonna let you guys know what's in them. So we're gonna start with unknown pleasures. Here's the bottle. They don't come with the box, I don't believe. No, um, this comes in like a bag. And last I checked, they actually, this is like all hand stamped. Um, he has like a, I've seen like a picture on Facebook on his on his page. He like puts a piece of metal down and he, um, you know, kind of stamps it in there. All right, the notes for this one is Earl Grey Tea, Lemon, Honey, Bergamot, Tonka, Caramel, Vanilla, and Waffle Cone. Okay. Gourmand, I'm assuming. You'll see. Okay, here we go. Good sprayer. Hmm. Yeah, definitely gourmand. Yeah, I agree. Well, there goes that. Whatever it was, it lemon. Yeah. So, it started off a little bit like umbois vanille, had like that sugary. Yeah. But that lemon note kicks in. The lemon note is very wow. like really tart. Lemon cookies. Yeah, it's like super tart. It's like a natural lemon. So if you if you uh, the opening of umbois vanille with the vanilla and the sugary kind of sweet. But then that lemon just slaps you in the face. Almost like a lemon head. It's like a, like sour sweet. Yeah, it's very, very prominent. at the. In the I don't think I've ever smelled a lemon for, um, note in a fragrance this strong. Which I don't know I, if it's a deal breaker I don't breaker think I've ever smelled one that's that natural. It smells like you're just sniffing a lemon. Yeah. Usually it just is like citrus. That's mm -hmm. all you smell. But this actually smells like a lemon. Yeah, if you just picture lemon heads, like the way they taste in your mouth, how sour they are, maybe even smell a little bit, but like I think usually it's the taste, just compound that with a, or not compound, but uh, just picture that like through your nose senses and definitely smells like, like lemon heads with some vanilla and sugar, which isn't a bad thing. I like to see how it dries down. I mean, it's the auto parfum, right? Yeah, I will say that the lemon goes away fairly quickly. Yeah. Maybe in like a half hour. I put this on my skin when I first got it. Lemon goes away, and you're just kind of left with the more of the sweeter notes. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, so far this one's not bad. Next one is going to be Blackmail. Same looking bottle. I think it came, it came in a bag, right? Like yeah, a tassel? it's like a little felt bag, yeah. There you go. Blackmail. And the notes in Blackmail are... All right, the notes for Blackmail, we have Velvety Vanilla. Oh. Intriguing Amber. Juicy Dark Berries. Oud and sandalwood. All right, sounds pretty good. And this is only available at the Blackmail Boutique in Austin, Texas. They actually However, have a boutique with the name Blackmail? That's the name of the boutique. I'm assuming that's why you named the fragrance that. Okay. However, I, I just called and ordered it. You can just call them and they'll ship it to you, so. Oh, okay. But we do live in Texas, so. All right. Whoa. <laughs> that's smoky and woody. Very smoky. A campfire smoky and woody. I like it though. It's like, is it amber? It amber, is? yeah. Yeah, definitely amber. It's almost like an amber absolute kind of amber. So it's kind of kind of dry, resinous, sweet, woody, a little oody. I like this one. Yeah, yeah this, this one reminded remind, me of all. It reminded me a lot, maybe because it was on skin and I dried down a little bit, but it reminded me a lot of Plum Japonais by Tom Ford. Mm. But more the plum? bigger and is there plums? there's berries so okay. it kind of get the same feel but it's wow. definitely smokier yeah and it's a lot heavier than plum Japanese. i like this one though this is like i mean i like to see how it how it changes and whatnot definitely can't wear it now no but i've always liked these kinds of fragrances like amber absolute plum Japanese, whatever that smoky dark resinous woody smell is it, it, usually a lot of fragrances will have that and it'll kind of turn it into something else yeah it's very masculine. I like that. Oh, definitely, it. yeah. 
Yeah, wow. Yeah, blackmail is so far my favorite. I mean, this one just smells like campfire, like you're out, you know, wearing like your best jacket and it's cold outside and you're sitting in front of a campfire hanging out with your friends or like how your, how your jacket smells afterwards whenever you're outside in front of a campfire. So, but that's just a personal preference of mine. I don't know if you guys at all out, out there would all like these, but... I do prefer this one over the other one as well. I like them both, but... They're completely different. That's cool because yeah, you have like opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. yeah, you have like a, a lemony gourmand on this side and you have like a woody, smoky... Um, I mean, what's it considered? Woody aromatic or... Doesn't have a grouping. Oh, well. Doesn't have a grouping. <laughs> okay, well. I don't know if that's what they call these, but... All right, guys, so that was my first impressions of uh, my first two kerosene fragrances. Uh, shout out to John Pegg for releasing these, and I uh, hope he's doing well out there in fragrance land. And uh, until the next video, you guys follow Brandon, Art of Fragrance, on Instagram and YouTube. You guys follow me on Instagram, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. You guys, uh, thanks for everything. Thanks for all the comments. Until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.